Mary Carpenter. I work for um, Providence Health and Services, Providence St. Joseph Health now, as a uh, safe patient handling instructor as part of my job as an injury prevention ergonomic specialist. I'm also a physical therapist, and uh, I want to tell you my story about a patient handling injury that occurred uh, when I was about age 26. Uh, it was my first job. I was working acute rehab at, uh, at a local hospital. And day by day, every 45 minutes, I was handling a, a, an acute stroke victim. So uh, a lot of lifting, pushing, pulling, a lot of vertical transfers. Uh, one Friday afternoon, I recall, because I had a trip planned but soon after this, and uh, it was my last patient of the day. She was a little lady, uh, elderly woman who had a trem tremor disorder, and she was pretty much dependent in her mobility at that point. Uh, so she set her up, I set her up for a vertical transfer to the bed, lowered the bed, did all that correctly, got her to the bed, no problem. She was 100 pounds. Um, then she's on the edge of the bed, and we used to use these egg crate mats on the bed, and they patients would just stick to them like glue. So uh, I pushed her back on the bed, and as I did that, pop, there was something happening in the left side of my lower back. And uh, shortly thereafter, I really couldn't move much. And I went to employee health and went home. Um, pain later, you know, radiated down the, the whole leg to the toes, uh, numbness and tingling in the toes. I, I was laid up for, I, I don't even know how long. Um, I was actually planned to go on vacation, so I did. I traveled to vacation and I just didn't do anything. I laid around um, with tingling in my toes. Um, I gradually recovered. I ultimately had two more back injuries after that, doing things at home, because once you have one back injury, you're at much higher risk for another, especially in that first year. Uh, so as a PT, you know, I kind of did my own thing. I took care of myself and, and I got better. I was young, I figured, okay, I'm fine. Well, as I aged and years went by, I began to notice that my left leg was a little bit weaker in the L5S1 myotome. And, you know, I went to the doctor, I had a nerve conduction velocity EMG study because I wanted to find out what was going on. They really said they couldn't pick anything up on that. And I thought, yeah, well, I know, I can tell. I can test myself and functionally, I know. As a result of that too, I'm beginning to feel like some mild uh, osteoarthritis symptoms in my left knee and in my left hip. Uh, and I think it's related to that slight weakness on the left leg because those L5S1 muscles aren't doing their job properly. Um, so that just sets up those joints for more wear and tear at an earlier age. So that's my story. You don't, I was young, I was fit, I was strong. I was using perfect body mechanics almost all the time as much as I could. I know exactly how to move my body and the patient was not heavy, but the forces acting on my spine were tremendous cumulatively day by day. So I hope this story <laughs> motivates you to understand that it is uh, worthy to <clears throat> protect yourself not by doing using just good body mechanics, but by using safe patient handling tools and other mechanical aids and ergonomic practices and principles that will help reduce the forces acting on your body because they are unseen and unfelt just like hypertension is a silent killer. So is So are the physical forces acting on your body. You don't feel them and then you're not prepared all of a sudden one day, it just might happen. I had no warning. You may have no warning and pop, there goes your back. And luckily, I, I wasn't injured as badly as, as others. Um, but it is a lifelong process, okay? It's a lifelong thing that's still with me. And I don't want that to happen to anyone.